Hey guys, this is Gibbatron09 here, and I'm here with an N64 controller. And what I'm going to do is tell you how to fix the loose joystick problem. And what you do is you start off, here's your N64 controller, and you're going to unscrew the screws from right there, there, down there, there, these two, right here, there, and there. And what you don't want to forget is the two right in there and in there. Because if you do, you're going to end up breaking your uh, L and R buttons. So what you do is you just unscrew those and then pop that out. And I've already done that over here. So here we have the inside of an N64 controller. And what you're going to start off doing is you're going to just take off your Z button right here right there, just see that little button right there and you're just gonna pull it out from right there and gently remove the Z button so it's right there you just pull it out and then you're gonna unscrew the screws there there and there and the L and R buttons will come off, so don't worry about that. Okay. So we can put that to the side. And here we have your thumbstick. And what we're going to need to do is unscrew that little black screw right there. This is the last time I'm going to have to screw, so don't worry. Now, just so you guys know, the problem with this, once you fix the uh, the issue, the uh, joystick will still feel a, little, will feel a little stiff, but it will be responsive, unlike it was before. So that will be always a good thing. And I think, there we go, it's undone. And then you're just going to push these two out. It is a little tough to get out, but just make sure you don't break it. And there you go. And so what you're going to do is you're going to clean out your insides. And then you can put this to the side for now. And you're going to take out this right here twist it and pull, take out the ring and the spring, clean all around here, and then what you're going to do is you're going to take some tape, about seven to eight centimeters long, and then you're going to get some scissors, and you're going to cut the tape about, so it's two meters wide and about eight or so long, so you just cut it like so. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your joystick out and you're going to put it right at the little neck. So you can see that right there. See where the ball is and where that little rectangle is at the bottom? Right there, right in between the two. And then you're going to put it, once you do that, you're going to put everything back the way it was before. Like so. Take your spring, put it back, your little dot, put this little son of a gun right back where it was, and before you twist, you're going to put some more tape, same exact as before, on the little rectangle sticking out the top, and wrap that around. It's going to be the exact same side of tape, and then wrap it around. And then what we're going to do after that is just re-screw everything back on, put everything back together, and you should have a stiff but readable joystick. So uh, thanks for watching, and that's how you fi fix the joystick problem. It will be stiff, but it'll be working, and that's the most important. See you later, guys.